What's up guys, my name's Noah. I make music as Haterade here for Sonic Academy. Today's video is gonna be really fun. We're gonna be exploring creative possibilities through randomization. We're gonna be using randomization in a couple of different ways to get you some really cool results and stuff that you might not have even expected. So let's get into it. Basically what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be adding a percussion loop to fill in the gaps here. So what I did here is I grabbed a, a bunch of percussion samples and I threw them all into a drum rack. You see there's a lot of samples here. So I just set up a simple pocket here And what I wanna do is I wanna take this pocket and sort of sparse out with different sounds in here. I'm gonna open up the MIDI channel here and I'm gonna go to MIDI effects and we're gonna hit random. Check this out. So I'm gonna turn the chance knob up all the way. And I'm gonna turn the choices up a lot. And basically what that's doing is it gonna give, it's gonna give me this nice little bouncy groove on, underneath this drum loop. which is pretty cool. It, like, it, it allows me to not have to really think about which samples I'm selecting and I'm letting Ableton do it for me. And you could always resample this too if you wanted to capture those things. You could just hit uh, Command T to make a new audio track and switch to resampling. Or uh, if you wanted to just solo this and record that into there. Or if you wanted to just track it with the drum loop, you just route the signal from this audio track into this audio track, hit arm, and then hit record. and you can take your pick from whichever take is the best. Okay, but let's take it a step further. Let's say we want we don't want all of these notes to be hitting every time. We're gonna come down here, we're gonna click this open right here. This is the chance menu. And we're gonna select all these, all these notes right here, and then we're gonna hit randomize. Check this out, boom, like that. And what this is doing is it's telling Ableton, we don't want all of these notes to be playing every single time. And this is giving us a probability for how often those notes are going to play. And you can see there's a sliding scale here. So listen now. Let's actually bring those up a little bit. I think the, some of these are a little bit too low. Let's say randomize down to like 40%. Yeah, some of these are a little bit low there, so let me bring them up. And you can see, kind of, it's kind of fun. You get like you get to sort of explore. Every time you listen through the loop, it's a little bit different. So let's take it another step further. So I I made these chords right here. And we're gonna apply that same technique to these chords. So like these chords have a lot of voices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna randomize. Randomize the chance. You can even select specific notes too. If it's like, I don't want this note to be playing very often, only sometimes, so I'm gonna bring that down. Same with that one. You can get some pretty cool results that way too. Especially if you're having something that's like this same chord progression repeating for a long time, this gives it a little bit of more life and it keeps it interesting. So you're probably familiar with the trick where you throw on an arpeggiator onto some chords and it arpeggiates those chords, right? It's, this is those chords right there, arpeggiated. We could take these chords and do the same thing. We're gonna randomize the probability here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the different types of arpeggiated chords we're gonna get because not all the notes are gonna be playing the same every time. So check this out. It's 
it's really cool to start exploring new possibilities with randomization. It's it's a lot of fun, and and especially if you're, if, you know, like I was saying earlier, if you're working with these these genres of music where it's sort of the same chord progression for a, repeating for a long period of time, this is a nice way to add some variety and spice things up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider clicking like on it. We put out new videos all the time, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace.